Hi there, Richard the Dick Coughlin 666. And <clears throat> on request, I <laughs> I love you guys so much. Even though it's clear from my last few videos that I am on the verge of a mental and emotional breakdown, I keep getting emails of people. I got an email last night, a message saying, X has made a video, you've got to watch it, your fucking head will explode. <laughs> I love you guys. I've got another one to go, watch this video, you'll go fucking mental, right? So seeing as it's clearly obvious, seeing as the people want me to end up in a home, I guess I'll, I'll give what the people want. Venifanix has made a video, it is apparently called An Early Christmas Present for Atheists. I am, um, I'm gonna make this, I wanna make it clear right now, I'm very tired, I was, I was up late last night watching Armageddon, the wrestling event. Not the, not the actual end of the world. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Anyway, I'm going to watch this new video by Sean. Like uh, a few of like, these other videos before I've made with Venom Fangx, I've actually watched the video before, but now I've got to the point where I'm really so... I just can't be bothered. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click on and watch his video, and it's called an early Christmas present for atheists. Okay, here we go. I've got the video ready. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a very easy to follow, comprehensive way to disprove the naturalistic philosophy behind atheism. Sean, <clears throat> one point one. Nothing you've ever done is comprehensive. Secondly, nothing you've ever done is easy to follow. Well, it is if you're a complete moron. Let's try again, shall we? What is the natural? I didn't even know I was a naturalist. I, get, I like being told what I am by fucking people like him. Oh, God, here we go. You know, when I used to be an atheist, I... Hmm. Question about when you used to be an atheist, Sean. In your video, Why I'm Not an Atheist, you stated that you became, you were an atheist until June of 2006. And yet, when I looked on your YouTube channel, it says that you signed up for your YouTube account in May of 2006, one month prior to you becoming an atheist. I want to know, why is that? What did you do on YouTube in the month prior to becoming an atheist? Because assuming at that point you still were. What happened, Sean? Hmm? Tell me that. Isn't that a little convenient? Does anyone else think that? I wish I heard arguments like this because... <laughs> well, I'm about to, Sean. They totally would have opened my mind to new possibilities and new truths. Anything that'll open your mind is a fucking crowbar. So follow along with me. You know, if you enjoy this video, please add it to your favorites, feature it on your channel, and spread the word, because a lot of people need to hear what I'm... I'd I rather spread chlamydia than your word, Sean. In fact, I have. I'm about to say. Okay, I'm pausing the video here. You can't see it. In fact, fuck it, I'll show you. He's got... He's got the fucking plasticine globe back out again. Oh god, I, I, I will bet you money this motherfucker thick motherfucking thing ends up on eBay. I will, I will bet you anything. He's gonna auction the cunt off to get a new camera or some shit like that. This is planet Earth. No, it's a fucking plasticine cunt. And that circle there. That's the universe. That He's just drawn a fucking look at this. He's drawn a fucking thing in the snow, and that's the right. Sean, you're killing me here, son. You're fucking killing me. Okay. First of all, now let me just think. Right, two things I've noticed about this that bother me. 
Number one is the size. Look at it again. Look at the size of the globe of the Earth in relation to the universe. Secondly, secondly, look where he's put the fucking Earth. He's put it right, right in the centre. Now we know this about you, Sean. You haven't covered it. If, if, that is, that's actually perfect for me. That is the creationist's universe. That's how every creation, this is why you're so incapable of grasping this. Because that is the creationist universe. Uh, just this big th in the middle. You know, forget all the other billions of galaxies and planets and shit. No, you've just got this little tiny space and this massive fucking thing. God, I hate you. Natural world. Now, the, the atheist and the naturalist, you see, they only believe in things inside that circle. They don't... Okay. ...want to think about things that exist outside of it. They... It's not that we don't want to, Sean. We're perfectly willing to. It just so happens that there's no fucking reason to. Because I don't fucking see any reason why anything should be outside the universe just because some cunt like you says so. How many times have you been told this? Seriously. Refuse to believe that anything exists out there. You see, the naturalist philosophy is based on things you can test, repeat, and observe. I know, it's fucking retarded, that, isn't it? What a bunch of fucking wankers we are. Only believing in things that we can actually physically prove are actually fucking there. I'm going to kill you, Sean. Do you realise that? I am going to one day do a Kevin Spacey in Seven, and poof, my brain's going to go, and I'm going to kill you in the face. I'm going to kill you in your face until you die. I think I need a holiday after this. You would, you wanted this. It's called the scientific method. Unfortunately, naturalism, by definition, is not something you can test, repeat, and observe. Because, you see, we exist inside that circle. And our senses are limited to things inside the circle as well. So, if something exists outside the circle, we're not going to be able to see it, or touch it, or taste it, or anything like that. I am about to. I, ne I it, to quote Vinnie Jones in the film Snatch. You should never underestimate the predictability of stupidity. What you have just said is the most single, most incoherent, nonsensical pile of fucking camel shit I have ever heard excrete from your fucking mouth. That I, what do you? What? You? Fucking... You can't test nat... What do you mean naturalism? You can't test naturalism. You, you can't say... What are you talking about? What do you mean? So, since naturalists only want to believe in things they can detect and you know, use the you insane bastards. scientific method on things you can test, repeat, and observe. Well, naturalism by definition is not something they can test, repeat, and observe, so... What are you talking about? What do you mean? You can't... Naturalism is about what you can test, repeat, and observe. Therefore, you can't test, repeat, and observe naturalism. That is the single stupidest fucking thing you have ever said, Sean. You have outdone yourself there. What are you... To naturalism is about what you can test, repeat, and observe. And let me... Get, you... Fine. I don't think I can get through this video. It's 1 minute 40, 38 seconds in. I don't think I can get through. To say they only believe in things that they can use the scientific method on is not true. They believe in naturalism, 
which is something that the scientific method cannot prove. Nationalism it comes about through the scientific method. The scientific method. Therefore, anything that can be tested with the scientific method can be applied to nature. Are you mental, Sean? You're fucking mental. You're kidding me. Do you spend your time sitting in a banana b bath full of bananas, just sticking them in your head, singing Snooker Loopy by Chaz and Dave, whilst punching a goat? I mean, you are mental. You, you make these videos in between your trips to getting in a bar full of fish sitting in an electrified cage. I mean, you must be... You are... You've lost it, Sean. You've lost it and you're taking me with you. You're taking me down with you, Sean. And I don't fucking want to carry on with it. I can't... I can't sit here and listen to this shit. I'm going to carry on, though. Because in order to prove it, you would have to exist outside the universe, looking downward and... Per Sean, go outside the universe. Can you do that? No. Nothing's ever gone outside the universe. Do you know why? Because it's the moon in there. <coughs> Cunt. Perceive everything in all of reality to say with empirical scientific data, something you can test, repeat, and observe, that the naturalistic world is the only thing that exists. Unfortunately, since we exist inside that circle, we can't do that. So, so I've shown you that the... But Sean, if you could go outside the fucking universe to test that the only thing that fucking existed was everything inside the fucking universe, what would be the fucking point in making the test in the first place? You fucking fanny. You walking fucking hairy shit covered fanny. I'm going to give you one more chance, Buster. One more fucking chance. Naturalistic worldview is self-refuting. You can't claim to only believe things you can test, repeat, and observe, and at the same time believe in naturalism, which by definition is not something you can test, repeat, and yes, it is. observe. So, how do naturalists justify their belief? By testing and repeating and observing stuff. It's really, this is what they do. They te okay, he's now got two snooker balls in his fucking hand. Okay. I can't even bring my hand to fucking press the button. Take a ball, and they say this caused this ball to move. Cause and effect relationships. And they claim that everything can be explained in these cause and effect relationships. Here's the problem. Seeing ball A hit ball B does not explain everything. What are you going on about? What are you talking about, Sean? Since when was fucking naturalism banging two snooker balls together? Wait! It never is! It's not! What are you going on about? Next, Sean, your next video, do your next video in Klingon. Do it in Klingon. Do it in Klingon backwards and mix it up with a bit of Chinese. It will make just as much fucking sense as this fucking hideous pile of shit, you fucking stupid pasty, skinny, white piece of shit, and that's coming from me. Even though they think it does. You see, they'll look at the laws of nature, cause and effect, and they'll say, therefore, the universe must have a naturalistic cause. And they'll look well, so at... So God's unnatural. ...the stars and the planets, and they'll say, well, those must have a naturalistic cause. Which they do. And they'll look at life, and they'll say, that must have a naturalistic cause. Which, which it does. Which is why they're trying to create life in the laboratories. Which they have. To say, yes, this is how it forms. What do you mean, which they're trying to create life in the laboratories? Do you live in the fucking Middle Ages? What, what century do you live in, Sean, where they're trying to create life in the laboratory? We've cloned animals, Sean. We've grown body parts and stuck them back onto people. We've recreated and fucking... This has been done! 300 years ago, you'd have been a fucking... You'd have been a visionary, Sean. Unfortunately, this is a fucking year 2008. <laughs> Using the laws of nature. That is them assuming that the laws of nature created the universe, life, planets, and stars. But remember, they've never observed the creation of life. <laughs> they fucking so have. They so have. I can't carry on. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. <laughs>
<laughs> Racing the deck, goblin sexy, it's good night, man, goblin.